Alright guys, we're here here at Santa Barbara on the coast and it's the perfect place to talk about country western music. Did you ever have posters of country music artists hanging on your wall as a kid? I I think I had a Neil Young poster, which isn't I guess he's gone through many phases of music. Some of that like old ways is kinda of country. But I never had a never like Kenny Chesney poster or anything, no. Okay, are you familiar with Garth Brooks fictional person persona alter ego Chris Gaines? Probably the most asked question that I get about Chris Gaines is, what's it like to play two different people? Would you ever come up with an alter ego? Well, I haven't versus heard that. No, no, I haven't. Okay. I have not. Yeah. I have not. I'm not really a historian of country music. Um, if I made up an alter ego for myself, I don't know. Are you a country music star? Are you a famous archer? Are are you an accountant at a great firm? Yeah. You know, or or what would you do? I think I would be a 65-year-old older man, and I'd be kind of a recluse, yeah. long hair, and I'd be really good at playing guitar, and I'd have a couple cats. Old pickup truck? Uh, yeah, an old, old pickup truck. Do you play guitar now? Uh, I have some guitars. I pick it up from time to time, but I usually get you know, a bit through a song of learning how to play, and then you know, I put it down for a while. But I always, I always come back to it and pick it up. Okay, you created a playlist called Team Sky Goes Country. What was that specific playlist created for? Uh, so I think I created that when my friend Marshall Opal, he actually lived with me over in Nice, France for a summer, and you know, he's from Montucky, so he's kind of country boys. Like, oh, dude, we should create like a country playlist to play yeah. on the Sky Bus. And I made it, I think I played it at Tour of Austria 2013. Right. And I think we had Matthew Heyman and Bernie Eisel there, and I think that was the last time I've been able to play it on the bus. You had Kenny Chesney, Toby Keith, Alan Jackson. Did you think their music is particularly capable of changing people's minds about country music? No, definitely not. Um, do you listen to music outside of country? So we have a special guest here. It's your mom. Can you, what's your, can you give us a couple, just your favorite stories of him growing up, once he's embarrassed about or not? Just maybe some special moments or jokes? Well, I, I don't know. You film. definitely get a chance. <laughs> what I like about it is how we all started involved in this and you know when Ian was about 10 years old um, he would always, we had an old Westphalia that we took so we all crammed into there with the bikes and Ian was always making oatmeal for us and we'd pop the top in the rain, he'd make tarps and he was just such a joy and boy you know I just loved, I, I wasn't that great but I loved uh, you know the um, the love at the end of all the races and that Basically, I don't have anything really. So my first pro team was Bissell Pro Cycling, and I'd done the training camp in Santa Rosa, and they just gave me a brand new Pinarello time trial bike. And my mom and brother had driven down to stay with some friends. My brother and I went for a bike for a bike ride, and I'd like put the put the brand new bike, never been ridden, can't be you know record group yeah, set. Nice. Put it on top of the roof and said, "Okay, mom, we'll meet you back at you know our friend's house." I was riding. It's like back when I had a, only a flip phone, so like it was it was on silent in my pocket. Got like maybe halfway through, took a pee stop, opened up, had 26 missed calls, all these messages, and like just this like declining state of like emotion. Like my mom like crying, then like like sad, and so she driven the car literally 100 meters oh. into a parking garage. Oh. And, we, but, still, we still have scars in the Santa Rosa parking garage. But it's in the past. You can't do anything about no, it. And, and we laugh and, about it. Hey, lesson learned out there, folks. Like, just remember, if you have a bike on your roof, just come, you know, think about it. Yep.